If you're dealing with a behavior that you really want to understand, a great way to start is by collecting some ABC data. What ABC data means is antecedent behavior consequence. This can be a really useful data sheet because it can both help you develop a really good definition of the behavior because you're going to record the intensity and duration of that behavior as well as taking data of when it happens gives you that frequency. In addition, it helps you understand if there's any patterns in days or times or activities and settings, as well as helping you to determine what could the function of that behavior be, because it could be based on the consequence. So what's important to realize when you're filling out an ABC data sheet is that each one of the areas really does have a function and it's important to fill out. So date and time is obvious uh, as soon as you can get it down and as accurately as you can get it down. The activity or setting is both where you are as well as what you're doing and it may include people that are involved. You may find that behaviors occur more with uh, a, one individual more than another individual. So for instance, uh, at eight, 8 a.m. on June 1st with mom getting ready for school. And um, antecedent can, is like what has happened right before. These could be setting events. This is what happened right before. I asked him to put his shoes on. I told him to put away his iPad, whatever it is that happened right before. And then the behavior, what did it look like? Make sure it's something you can observe. So he got angry is not a behavior because what angry looks like to me may be different than what it looks like to you. To say she screamed loud enough to be heard outside of the house and pulled her hair with both hands, that's a behavior. That gives me a picture. I know exactly what that looks like. If you've already defined a behavior, so for instance, let's say you've defined a behavior such as um. SIB, which is self-injurious behavior. And you've already defined for this person what SIB looks like is them biting their hand. So you can just write SIB if that is a behavior that's defined. If you're working on defining the behavior, make sure that you write exactly what it looks like. And then the consequence is what happened right after. That's not necessarily a consequence that you put on it. It's not something like, um, he knows that he's going to lose recess or she will need to do extra homework. The consequence is what happens immediately afterwards. Let's say that Susie at 10 a.m. during recess, when a student asked if she wanted to play, she spat in that student's face and the consequence was the student left her alone. So there may be also the consequence that Susie then had to sit quietly at the side for five minutes or Susie's mom was called. But the fact that that peer left her alone, that could be the maintaining consequence. That could be the function of the behavior. Susie may have learned that if a peer comes close to her, she can spit on them and they'll go away. That's important to know because that will help us develop an appropriate replacement behavior. So basically on an ABC chart, it's okay to take quick notes as long as you know what those notes mean and you can explain them to someone else if they have questions to ask, but make sure you get the date and the time, the activity and the setting, what happened directly before, what did the behavior look like, intensity and duration, you may want to define those um, 
like high, medium, low, if you're talking about screaming, saying low, it cannot be heard through a closed door. Medium, it can be heard through a closed door, but not outside the house. High, it can be heard outside the building with the doors closed. If it's something that happens often, you may want to define that as such and then just be able to say high, medium, low. Duration is going to be how long it lasted. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 seconds. And then remember the consequence is what happened immediately afterwards. Not always just the artificial consequence that the adults might put in place, but the natural consequences that occur because those could be maintaining consequences. If you have any questions about ABC data, please let me know.